Hey everyone, welcome to Free Healing Media, you, my autistic life. My name's Nisi, and you're hanging out with me here in Big Sky, Montana. Um, I am currently working on this mosaic blanket. And I just want to kind of chat with you while I'm crocheting. Um, I have some things on my mind. And I've had time to really think about porch chat and what to do with it. And, um... I work really hard to keep my chat safe for everybody. Um, you guys know that one of my things that I always say is the door is open. Well, the door is always open. You can come and go as you please, and I do mean that. Um, however, in the descriptions of every live, there is a set of rules that I have listed there, and I try to remind people of the of the rules every port chat and there might be a couple of times where I have forgotten to do that so I just want to remind everybody if I'm going to keep porch chat going I have to be able to relax as well it's a two-way street I want you to come and relax but I want to also be able to come and relax I want you to feel safe but I also have to feel safe right so I'm just asking you guys to help me out uh, it doesn't matter what happened, that's ir that's not relevant. Um, the point is, is some things have been brought to my attention that frankly stressed me out and had me a little anxious. And um, I just wanna make sure that everybody understands that it is imperative that um, people be kind to each other in my chat and show a decent amount of respect or at least tolerance. And you know, if there's someone in there that you just can't stand, absolutely, you you have all rights to to, to leave, but leave quietly, please. <laughs> um, also, uh, I'm having some some issues with running porch chat. One of them is. I've been on porch chat for way too long. I really need to keep it at an hour. Um, I just, it's its a lot for me to socialize. And even after that hour, I do leave feeling tired. I'm definitely not one of those creators that can go on a live and stay on a live for two hours or more. I, I'm just not that person. Um, also, I do have great difficulty keeping up with the chat. So if I don't say hi to somebody and I miss you in the chat, it's not intel intentional. I promise you it's not. But, you know, I do have a difficulty reading the chat. I do. Um, and especially if it just happens to be one of those days where there happens to be, to me, a lot of people is more than 10 people. Okay. Um, that even makes it even more hard for me to keep up with the chat. So I know I had some people that were, didn't like the fact that I had the slow-mo on the chat. And so, cause I had it set for 20 seconds. And so I cut it down to 15, but people still weren't kind of not happy with that. So then I cut it down to 10 seconds and I'm just want to let you guys know 10 seconds is not enough for me. I'm still missing way too much in the chat and to see my chat do this. It hurts my head. Um, it's not something I can handle very well. It's an autistic trait. It is what it is. I can't do anything to change that, you guys. Um, so the slow-mo on the chat is going to be going back up to 20 seconds. And if that's not something you can handle because it gets on your nerves, I understand. 100%. I get it. I'm not gonna, You're not going to hurt my feelings if you don't come to porch chat, okay? And maybe you maybe you can come back and catch it on replay. And but if you're one of those people you don't like catching things on replay, that's fine too. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Um, another thing is that um, <clears throat> I find this a little uncomfortable to talk about. So uh, I don't want to sound negative because that's not what I want. Um, when porch chat starts back up. Um, I may take another extra week off. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to be ready. Um, Porch Chat is definitely canceled next week because we're taking Little Man to the movies. Um, and then I originally was going to do Porch Chat the week after that. And I'm still kind of planning to do that. But if I end up still feeling still too tired to do that, I may end up canceling. So it's a 50-50 right now. And I know... 
I know it's a lot of uncertainty and I know it's really important to stay consistent when you're running a channel. However, let me remind everybody that this channel is not a business. It's not. Um, I don't offer tutorials. I don't offer patterns. I'm not a designer. Man, I just like to get on here and hang out with y'all. That's it. I'm a hangout place and I share what I love and that's to crochet and I love seeing what you guys make and I love hearing what you guys are up to and it's not just crochet you guys know I have all different types of people in my chat I love to hear about people who are gardening and what you're growing this year and you know did you have challenges while you grew this year and what was your harvest like and I love people who paint I love anything that people create with their hands that's one of my special interests and so I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> so I, I, I like that my channel is diverse and I want to keep my channel diverse. And I like the fact that my channel is, except for, you know, I do have some strict, I have strict settings on my channel to keep trolls out and to keep, you know, the people who come in the chat safe. Um, you know, I don't, I don't have my chat open to the public just for, for subscribers or unsubscribers. I just don't because I had I had a history that caused me to take more security measures and I'm not comfortable with releasing those security measures yet and honestly I don't think I ever will be. So it is what it is. <laughs> um so I say all that to say, you know, that my subscriber only is still going to be set on there and I want my channel to to remain diverse um and I want you know, I'm not a business. Um, it's a hangout spot. It's a place where you can come and hang out and relax and get away from your troubles, whatever they may be. Get away from your troubles, be able to relax and just breathe and just rest. Have a laugh, hopefully. Hopefully you put a, I put a smile on your face or maybe one of the people I have on my panel that day puts a smile on your face when I do have panel guests, which is not often. Um, because I do find that difficult sometimes to have panel guests. I have to be in the right headspace to do that. Um, but I do have to limit my time on YouTube when I'm in a live. I limit myself on when other people are live. I can only be in their chat for so long. And then um, I normally I'll turn off the chat and then I'll just be listening to the host talk. And then I'll look over it at the screen once in a while to see if they're going to show something. I want to see it, obviously. So I'll look over at the laptop and look to see what they're showing. Um, so it's not just on my life. It's on other people's lives that I do. I have time limits that I can, that, that I can handle. Um, it's part of my autism. Um, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a sensory thing is what it is. Um, I have major sensory issues with a lot of different types of things. Um, so there's going to, I, I got to keep my time down. I've been on the lives way too long. And honestly, I think that's why I'm in a YouTube burnout. I, I, I was doing too much. I was going, up, I was going beyond my capability. Okay. And then I get off and I'm just tired and I'm useless. I can't really do much of anything because I'm just so exhausted from all the socialization. So, um, I got to keep, I got to really try hard to keep it at an hour. Which means I'm not going to have time to say hi to every single person in the chat. <laughs> I want to, but I'm not going to be able to if I'm going to keep it at an hour. Um, so the purpose of poor chat is going to stay the same. It's a place to hang out. That part's not going to change. There's going to be a, a few tweaks with how long I'm on porch chat, obviously. Um, and, uh, the speed of the chat is going to be slowed back down where I can handle it at a more manageable level. Um, also, I had way too many moderators on there. And so I want to start this the I want to start the slate clean with my channel. And I swiped all of the wrenches except for my brother and my sister-in-law. And then a good friend of mine, Lori's World, who's been a friend of mine since actually since before I even put my first video, well, before I started posting videos again, um, I actually met her through my sister-in-law, Gail, Southern Living, and we became fast friends through her lives and her channel way before I posted 
my first video when I got back onto YouTube. Um, and so she comes in and out. She may not always have to be there. So I do realize, and my brother and my sister-in-law are very busy people and they're not going to be able to make, to make it to every porch chat. So I do realize that that's going to cause me some issues. So the amount of time that you have to be a subscriber is going to increase before you're allowed to chat because of that reason, at least until I put more, until I pass out more wrenches. Um, it's going to take me some time to pass out wrenches again. Um, I want to be a little bit more methodical about it. I don't want to just give wrenches to give wrenches. Um, I want to make sure, one, that the people who have a wrench really want a wrench. And two, I want to make sure they understand what I need from them as a moderator. Because they may not want to be a moderator. You know what I mean? So, um, and that's probably, I, I'm, I don't foresee me adding wrenches at least for several, several weeks. Maybe a month. Because I just kind of want to sit back and kind of just ease back into porch chat. Really think about, watch... I'm going to be watching my chat, seeing who is regularly coming in. Um, also, taking wrenches away tends to make people just leave your channel and unsubscribe to you. And that is, that is there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, so I understand that that's going to happen and that's okay. Um, my channel is not about the subscriber count. It, it really, it never has been. Um, so, um, I, I've been, I've been advised that I might take a hit. I'm okay with taking that hit 100%. Um, because at the end of the day, I only want people here who want to be here. I don't want people here who have an alternative motive or who has a, a score to settle with somebody. Um, I don't want drama in porch chat. If, if drama happens in porch chat, I will shut porch chat down real quick and it won't be put back up. I don't have to go on lives. I can post vlogs and I can chat elsewhere on YouTube. But I really want to keep Porch Chat open because for more times than not, I enjoy hanging out with you all. It's fun and it puts a smile on my face and I could use laughs too right now. I'm dealing with a lot of pain right now. My whole family is and I could use a laugh and I could use an hour to escape everyday life. You know what I mean? So the nature of the porch chat's not going to change. It's just going to look a little different. You're going to notice that there's not wrenches really in the room for a while. Um, and, you know, if people fall away, that's okay. Um, it doesn't make them bad people. People want what they want, and they're allowed to want what they want. And they're allowed to go elsewhere and seek to get what they want. That's the human race, right? I mean, I have a right if I go to a channel for a while and if they start doing something that maybe is just not my cup of tea, I have a right not to go there anymore. It's just like when you watch TV and you're flipping through the channels and you're trying to decide what TV show you want to watch. And there's a show that comes on that you just can't stand. And so you click off NBC. I don't want to watch NBC tonight. I'm going to go watch Fox because I can't stand that show they got on. Same thing with my channel. If I have somebody on my panel and you can't stand that person, go to a different channel. It is okay. I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm not going to be mad at you at all. But I'm going to say this one last time, and I'm not going to say it again. What I don't want, I don't want people to email me. I don't want people to send me private messages telling me how much they dislike the person that I had on my panel or dislike a moderator I have, okay? If you come to me because you're upset about something and you want some constructive advice and you're willing to hear what I have to say, even if it's not something, if, if it's not what you're wanting to hear, that's different. That's different. But I'm not going to tolerate drama being emailed to me. I don't like it and I want it to stop. And I'm asking politely, please stop. Please stop. I'm not here for that. I don't have time for that in my life. I've never had time for that in my life, actually. This is why I'm an introvert. <laughs> because sometimes humans can be messy. I have messy moments. And I have moments where I feel icky. And doing this video, frankly, 
doesn't make me happy, but it's ne it's necessary. Um, so I talked over with my husband. I talked over this with a couple of other people that I that I immensely trust with information about some of the challenges I'm having about porch chat. Um, some of the challenges I'm having personally, like how long I've been on lives and why I can't handle it. Um, the challenges I'm having with keeping up the chat, the emails I got from people feeling that they were ignored in the chat, how to handle that. Like I've, I've gotten a lot of advice over the last four days. And one of the advice that I've gotten from more than one person is I need to do a video like this. So this is my video. Um, and, um, I want this video to come across as being kind because it's not, I don't want it to come across as me being unkind, but it is my channel and I reserve the right to keep my channel safe and I reserve the right to keep my channel diverse and I reserve the right to operate my channel the way I see fit. My channel is not a place to come to settle a score with somebody. My channel is not a place for arguing or gossip or drama. When I do add the three moderators I have now, know to look for such language in the chat. And if they see such language or any kind of aggression or unkindness towards another person in the chat, they know to immediately delete it. They have my full permission to do that. Um, I don't think I've had a problem yet with that, but I'm just making sure I don't have a problem and I want to have it out in the open what I have told my moderators to do in case something like that does happen. I want people to feel safe when they come here. Okay. Um, if you like coming in poor chat and you like to support me, but there's someone in the chat you're not getting along with and you're scared to chat, don't chat. Lurk if you need to lurk. Okay. You don't have to chat in the chat. All right. You can lurk. Or if you can't, stand to see the person in the chat, you know, you can go and come back another day. You do what you need to do to make yourself feel okay. It's not going to hurt my feelings at all. I get it. I've, I've done it myself. I, I was being harassed for a really long time. And for a long time, there's been a couple channels that I absolutely could not go to because I kept getting emails from that person telling me I had no right to go in there. And they were threatening me, threatening my family, calling me every name in the book. And so I couldn't handle getting those emails anymore. And I kept reporting the emails, reporting the emails. And I just had to stay away from a couple of channels until things settled down. Things have settled down now and I'm able to go back to those channels. It's great because I miss those. It's not the host's fault. You know what I mean? They can't control what's happening behind the scenes. They can't control that someone in the chat's emailing me. They can't control that. It's not their responsibility. It's my problem. So I'm just letting you know, you got to do what's best for you. And I have to do what's best for me and what's best for those that come to my house to hang out in porch chat. So for porch chat to still happen, it was important for me to clear the air, let y'all know what's on my mind, let y'all know what I've been struggling with. Um, and this is me drawing a line in the sand. I don't, it does not matter how long I've known you. If you put me in a position that makes me uncomfortable and you put me in a position where you're trying to make me choose sides or you're trying to make me unwrench somebody or whatever, it's not going to end well. I'm drawing the line in the sand tonight. Okay. I don't want it in my house. I refuse to have it in my house. I refuse to have it in my life. The cool thing about um, being a human being is we get to control what information we allow, what, what information we allow to be sent to us, what information we allow ourselves to read. And um, I'm not going to read messages like that anymore. And if you're one of those people that I've been having a routine problem with getting those messages, just know I won't be reading your emails at all. 
I just won't read them. They'll be deleted um, because I have to control what I allow in um, because things affect me deeply. Um, and I have to, I have to maintain my, my sense of peace. And, um, I love to think wonderful things about people. It makes my heart happy to think of wonderful things about people. And it hurts my heart to hear negative things about people and hurtful things about people. I don't like hearing it. It disturbs my spirit. I don't like it. I don't like it. So please don't. Um, so yeah, so porch chat will look a little different as far as, you know, the lack of, bl of blue wrenches, but the spirit of porch chat and the overall structure and the diversity of porch chat will remain the same because my goal is the same as it always has been. <laughs> and that is to come into my house and relax, put a smile on your face, share whatever you're passionate about, and enjoy yourselves, okay? So, I'm asking you to help me keep porch chat going. And let's, let's get along and let's be kind to each other, okay? And let's keep porch chat open because it's a fun place to hang out, man. I love hanging out with y'all. Um, and that's, that's it. That's all I had to say. Um, man, it, this video is hard to do. It is. It's hard to do. You don't, this is not a fun video to do. You guys, it's not fun. It's not fun for me. Um, but it was necessary. Um, and I, I love you guys so much. And I, you know, things that are happening, it's not, directly happening to me um except for the emails that are coming to me that's that's happening directly to me um but um as far as what's being told to me that's none of my business and it's going to remain none of my business um so if by chance you have a really deep concern about coming into porch chat because you're having an issue by all means you can get I don't want to know details you can give me a heads up and be like hey I'm having an issue with whatever then that puts that enables me to be on alert and I can go to the the moder my trusted moderators that's another reason why I stripped all the wrenches and only kept three people three people that I know that are um, unbiased and um, that I trust deeply um, and they're family members and then one's a family friend, um, I can put them on high alert and they'll, they'll be diligent about watching the chat, trust me. So you'll be safe, okay? You'll be safe in my chat. You can give me heads up. I'll let them know, hey, we just need to watch out for this and you'll be safe in my chat. All right. I just want to give you my word. Okay. That you'll be safe in my chat. All right. So that is it. You guys, holy cow. Let's just talk about yarn, please. <laughs> and gardens and painting and diamond painting and crafting. Let's just chillax and have a good time. All right. All right. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my vacation and get my energy back. And I'm going to be strict on myself. I'm going to keep my life to an hour. Even if I have to cut myself off and I don't get to finish sharing everything I wanted to share. I'm going to be strict on myself. So that I don't get burnt out like this again. Because it's my fault. It's 100% my fault that I am burnt out right now. Because I did not take the proper steps to keep myself safe. As far as my energy level and my mental health. I pushed it. I pushed myself beyond my limits and that's on me. I want to make sure everybody understands that. I'm not blaming anyone for my burnout. It's 100% my fault. I did it to myself and I'm owning it. So that's why there's some changes with porch chat because Nisi's got to take care of Nisi. 
<laughs> Otherwise, there will be no porch chat because I'll get burnt out again. And I don't want that to happen. It's not fun for me. And then we don't get to hang out and it sucks. So there's that. All right, you guys, y'all have a wonderful rest of what's left of Sunday. <laughs> and I just want to say to those of you that got lucky to see the Northern Lights, I'm jealous, legit, I'm jealous of you because we still did not get to see them, not even last night. We did not get to see them where I live. Um, I'm totally bummed. I've never gotten to see the Northern Lights and I wanted to see them really bad. It's been nice to see them on your pictures. Mishi, your pictures were gorgeous. Billy from Wickershire Project, totally jealous of you, dude. Um, my friends who, who lived just one town over got to see them because we had major thick clouds, so we didn't get to see them, but they had clear skies. What the heck? They only lived like 35 minutes down the road. <laughs> I'm legit jealous, you guys. Maybe one day I'll get to see them. So, so thank you for sharing the beautiful pictures and videos of all you that got lucky. Mike, oh, he shared them while he was live. Mike is um, autistic. It's autistic slash AF. It's his channel. He was live and I got to see the Northern Lights live through his channel. <sighs> jealous, dude. I'm jealous. <laughs> Anyway, and it was so cute because he was so excited. He was like a little kid in a candy store. I loved it. Um, you guys are so lucky. Anyway, I'm getting out of here. I got to work on this. Um, they're looking like snowflakes. I'm excited. They're, they're actually starting to look like snowflakes. So I'm doing something right. Um, and I'll continue to share this with you guys as I go. And I'm going to be starting some Tunisian. Hopefully this coming week. So I'll be sharing that. Um, I'll be doing some tutorials off of Michael's channel and then um, there's another channel that I found that I'm going to kind of look at their patterns and see what they got going on over there and I'm going to start learning Tunisian man that's one cool thing about wanting to learn something on YouTube you can get helpful tutorials all over the dang place <laughs> you want to know how to do something on YouTube do a YouTube search and you'll get all kinds of videos that you can look at. <laughs> and then you can find the person that, that you're able to learn from the best. It's great. It's wonderful. It's a one-stop shop. <laughs> all right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. And as I always say, love from Montana. And always remember, dare be you, dare be different. I'll see you on Porch Chat soon. Bye, everybody.